Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Let's Go and today we're going to do Let's Go Cook and that start with things that you might need to cook that start with a recipe. The recipe will give you the directions that you need and there's a good chance the recipe you're using came from one of your favorite recipe books. You might need some pots and pans or maybe if you're making a sauce, you might need a saucepan. Here we have a skillet or a frying pan and also a cast iron skillet. Some recipes would call for this. I can think of blackened chicken or blackened fish. With a crock pot or a slow cooker, you can throw everything in the morning and let it cook slowly all day long. Maybe you'll need some mixing bowls measuring spoons, a measuring cup, or maybe a cheese grater. Might need a cutting board. And if you need to weigh something, well, of course you're gonna need a scale. Making pasta, you might need to drain it in a colander or a drainer. Making bread or pizza crust, you might need a rolling pin. You also might need a flour sifter. A food processor comes in really handy in the kitchen. Making soup, well, you might need a ladle. You also might need some tongs to grab things. Making some veggies that need peeled, well, you need a vegetable peeler. A good set of knives, especially a butcher knife, is a must. A casserole dish is always a good thing to have. A whisk also might come in handy as would a meat tenderizer. And don't forget, things are hot out of the oven. You need your oven mitts. Making cookies, well, you need a cookie sheet. And if you're gonna make mashed potatoes, you're probably gonna need a potato masher. Pictured here are various blenders, electric can mixer, and for you garlic lovers, this is called a garlic press. Okay, let's look at some of the terms and vocabulary you'll need to know. Prep time means preparation. How long does it take to prepare the recipe? And cook time is how long does it take to actually cook the recipe? The recipe will also give you the ingredients, and those are the things you need to cook your item. Preheat means getting the oven ready. And of course, this is baking in an oven and we fry an egg in a frying pan and sometimes we like to grill our meat and sometimes for convenience we like to microwave and americans sometimes will say we're going to nuke it and we roast things in the oven this shows a picture of a turkey and sometimes we like to steam our vegetables using water vapor to cook them a recipe will ask you to break or crack an egg. This picture shows us using a whisk to whisk the ingredients. And sometimes we mix or we beat the ingredients. Here we are chopping an onion. And here we are slicing or cutting a tomato. Sauté is a French word meaning to cook in butter or oil. And here the picture shows us grating cheese. Many recipes will use the verb add. And a lot of times we want to peel the vegetables. This is pouring the batter into a frying pan. Boil is heating the water to a very high temperature. And simmer is heating the water to a lower temperature. Let's sprinkle some salt on those good looking fries. A pinch or a dash is a very small amount. And sometimes we want to get that steak tender. So we're going to pound the steak. You drain either pasta or veggies using a colander. This picture shows us dipping the chicken 
in a sauce and we always want to taste our food to know how much salt or pepper to put in it. Making fried chicken, you'll probably have to bread it in breadcrumbs. Some recipes will ask you to weigh an item. Making bread or pizza crust, well, it may ask you to sift the flour. It may ask you to knead the bread. The K is silent. And then roll the dough out. We like to spread butter on our toast. And many recipes will use the word optional. And that means it's not necessary. It's your discretion. Here we are spraying our cookie pan and we're going to toss the salad. Here we are blending some ingredients and of course at the end you want to serve the meal. Let's explore some taste of food. Bitter. Think of unsweetened chocolate. Bland. Very little spice. Very plain tasting. Crispy. Think of a fresh celery when you snap it. Crunchy. Think of potato chips. Dry means the food does not have enough moisture. And moist, of course, is the opposite of that. Something that is rich contains a lot of sugar, butter, and eggs. I think of a cheesecake. And salty means a lot of salt. Think of a pretzel. And the little girl's face is showing you sour. Think of a lemon. Spicy is any food that contains a lot of spices. And sweet is any food that contains a lot of sugar. And hot. And we're not talking temperature here. We're talking foods that may contain a lot of jalapenos or peppers. And tough's really not a flavor, more of a texture. Think of an overcooked steak. You will find the text from this lesson in the description below. You can also find a link to food idioms and food phrasal verbs. Are you ready to take a little quiz? Look at this recipe. It tells me to turn the oven to 300 and 75 degrees. What am I doing when I do this? I am preheating the oven. The recipe calls for butter. How much butter? One and one half sticks of butter. It also asks for eggs. How many eggs in this recipe? Two eggs. And so my cookies don't stick to the baking pan. What does this recipe tell me to do to the baking pan? It tells me to spray the baking pan. Where does the sweetness come from and how much do I need? Three fourths cup light brown sugar. And how much flour am I going to need for this recipe? Two and a fourth or two and a quarter cups. How long do I cook these delicious cookies? 12 to 15 minutes, it kind of depending on your oven. And this recipe has one thing that is optional depending on your taste. What is it? One cup nuts. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what kind of video you would like to see next.